Lila, let me begin by asking you, when you read this script yeah. and read this role, yeah. this is an amazing role to get to play. Do you just jump at an opportunity yes. to play this guy? Yeah, um, I was in New Mexico, Moriarty, New Mexico, shooting a movie. My son was visiting me at the time. I had a, we were on location in the middle of a muddy farm. My, my trailer was c covered with mud and Legos and Oreos. And uh, the producers of the film came in and handed me a script and they said, look, we're, we're doing this other project. It's a, it's a cult film. Um, would you take a look at it? Well, when they said cult, I thought that they meant some sort of genre, you know? And in fact, it is a cult film, a film about cults. Um, I went back to my room, um, put my son to bed, and lay there and couldn't fall asleep. So I, I snuck over to my computer, opened it up, op uh, opened the script up in, 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 in the file form, and, and I thought, I'll just read a couple of pages, it'll put me to sleep. And, and <laughs> <laughs> That's an actor talking. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, nine out of <laughs> ten times I would have gone straight yeah. to sleep. And I couldn't stop reading it, I, page after page after page, twist after turn after, exciting, funny, uh, emotional, and then, you know, when I got to the end, it was just like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? And I finished it, and I, and when I finished it, I thought, am I being punked? Because it's just not often that you read something this great. Yeah. And I thought, okay, so why, and why have they given it to me, and is this just another one of those great scripts that I get a chance to read and isn't gonna happen? So um, I thought, you know, do it. I wrote an email at 4.30 in the morning to Keith and Jess, the producers, and I was like, this script is fucking great. Uh, this script is great. <laughs> you can say it. Yeah, okay. so, We're on the uh, internet. You can this say script that. is fucking great, and what is the fucking story behind this? <laughs> and um, a couple of days later, I went back to L.A. I had lunch with Riley, and um, a month later, we were on set filming oh the first God. scene. Because we, once so, we got him, we knew he was we the right guy, and we were ready to go at that point. So it was a very quick, uh, expedited process, but yeah, it felt supernatural. Mary, what was your reaction to the script? I mean, had you shown it to her? Had she you, was yeah. reading like 10 pages at a time okay. as yeah. he was writing. Yeah, I was reading it as he was writing, and I loved it. I was so excited. I think I knew that you know he'd written several scripts before, and I loved them all, but I, I knew this was going to be the one that would get made. Um, because it was just so good from the first page. Um, and I was but I, terrified to play this part, though. I was like, really? I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Um, and I, I just wasn't sure how, if we weren't married, if, if I would have been the one cast in it. You know, when I've read other scripts with similar types of parts, I've always been told, eh, it's just not, not quite right. Not, not. Um, so I think I had that in my head and those insecurities in my head. And I was just like, I don't know if, I can, I don't know if I'm the person to pull this off. Um, and then, you know, the further we got into it and the more I was like, okay, I'm committed, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do this, I'm going to figure this out. Um, and once we, you know, started working with Leland and all the other actors came on board and there started to be this kind of tone that developed and it all started to make sense to me and I started to get really excited. Um, and then once we were shooting, it was just like, it was just the most fun and the most rewarding experience. Well, you said fun, but was it exhausting at all for either of you? Because emotionally, I mean, yeah. day to day, you yeah. guys are going to places that yeah. you wouldn't want to go to on a normal basis. I, yeah, yeah, I think exhausting and fun go mm -hmm. hand in hand, you know? Um, yeah, we, we spent more time in, as these characters at, in that period of time than we did as ourselves in real life, you know? And yeah, it was fun, but... Um, but it was just, it was, it was a trip, you know? It was a trip. And it was scary, very scary. And I felt the same way that Mary did. I don't know if I can do this, but I think the scariest parts are ultimately end up being, um, you know, um, the most rich uh, performances. Mm -hmm. yeah. Riley, what fascinated you about the cult world and, and, and the sort of the universe that this film is set in? I'd always been fascinated by cults. Uh, even as a kid, I would watch documentaries and um, like uh, uh, true crime stories, uh, but like about the cult, like a cult murder or something like that. And um, my dad's a is a retired police officer, so he would always have me watching those types of things too. But we or we would watch together. He wouldn't make me. That would be <laughs> right. um, but we would watch together, and and but the the cult thing just was something that always stuck with me and I think it was the idea that you could be a perfectly healthy person uh, and somebody else could kind of brainwash you and manipulate you and and that idea became the the impetus for 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 what became faults and uh, originally it was started as more of a drama straight-up drama and I I'd done a couple of shorts where I started experimenting more with a tone that I 
feel felt more comfortable with, which was uh, just like a more dark humor, kind of uh, weirder world type of thing. And uh, once I kind of realized that that was the tone for this movie as well, that I could do that, it just kind of it all spiraled uh, out of control in a good way, like right. with just my imagination kind of running wild and. and and this was the, the thing that kind of developed from it. But yeah, the cult thing has always been something that I was into, and, and even more so deprogramming, because that was just this really weird Wild West thing where these guys were just like trying to figure out ways to make money off of helping people get their family members back, and there wasn't really a method at the time for doing that, at least scientifically grounded. And, and so, uh, yeah, that, that weird little time period of like the late 60s, into like the early 80s, mid 80s, like th there was some weird stuff going on there. And so a little dark humor, comedic bent to that dark natured uh, uh, world, was, it seemed like the right idea. Yeah, uh, this is your directorial debut mm -hmm. and you're directing your wife. Which and, is actually the easiest thing. And I, well, I wanted to ask, because I know Leland, you've had that experience too. Yes. Yeah. So did you guys talk right. about that at we, all? Yeah. Did you? Actually, we, we did. did. Leland gave us some great advice about like, don't let, because people always tried to tell you that it's a bad idea. And for some people, it probably would be a very bad idea. But like when we've got the relationship that we do and we work together the way that we do, Leland knows because he's been there. And he told us, like, don't let anybody talk you out of it. You guys are going to be stronger because of it. And it absolutely was the truth. Like we worked as well as I think we've like we could ever work. I could ever work with anybody else. And and she sees things the way that I see them. And I know what she's capable of. And uh, just having Leland kind of like backing up that confidence was a really nice thing. Well, there's a, there's uh, a built in trust, there's a mm -hmm. built in respect. Yeah. And yes, it is dangerous to, to venture out of your home together into your profession. And, um, you know, hats off to those people who do it. Uh, sink or swim, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's wildly rewarding either way. If, you're, uh, if your aim is true, if your artistic aim is true, that's what's most important is in your pursuit of, of, of art and, and other motives uh, put aside. Mm -hmm. Mary, would you repeat the experience? Was it a good experience? I for you? am demanding to repeat <laughs> the experience. <laughs> you yes. have to write a lead for her now in every movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, yeah. the next thing that I'm working on is for her. Yeah, specifically. Well, it, it better be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're well, in yeah. trouble. Especially now that we've done it. Now, but before, it was like, yeah, maybe we'll keep yeah. working together. And now and it's I, like, no, we better keep working I would be together. the dumbest person in the world if like, I was living in a house with an actor as good as her and not using her like for my personal gain. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I do. Well, uh, it's our personal gain, too, getting to see the film. Thank and, you. Uh, Pleasure talking to you and you and you as well. Sir. Nice to talk Thank to you. Again. Thank you so Thanks, much. Awesome. Great meeting you. Congratulations. Congratulations.